In October of last year, 2006, Dave Hackenberg, a beekeeper from Pennsylvania, noticed a decline in his beehives. Over 75% of his hives had most of the adult bees missing. Normal losses were between 15 and 20%. But beekeepers have become very accustomed to this loss. It's sad to go to someone's house and see thousands of empty boxes of bees stored away somewhere, um, especially when they've been doing the kind of work for 30, 40 years. You know, we're finding different things in these colonies that we don't understand that we need to to ensure bee health. Just like with humans, we're, we're surrounded by viruses and different pathogens, and, and then when our immune system becomes weak, then you wind up succumbing to, to one of those viruses that, that your body's susceptible to. Do I think bees are going to survive? Will the industry survive? Absolutely. Um, it's just how many people or how many beekeepers are we going to lose? It takes a special kind of person to be a beekeeper. It's not easy work. It's hot. It's, you know, work with stinging insects. I really have a lot of respect for the guys that do this stuff. And if it wasn't for them, there would be a lot less variation in our diet. Beekeeping is the last nomadic farming. You know, they're the last nomadic farmers. Uh, usually they're family, you know, it was the father down to the son, so they're very family operations. And if these guys go, it's not like they're just out of business, but it's the, the family farm that relies on them in the apple groves, you know, the blueberry producers, the cranberry producers. All of them are impacted if bees are taken out of the equation.